Hey, we made it. Feels good, doesn't it? Happy Friday. I'm Jessup Reisbeck, and this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Today started with pretty big chill out there. Sam, what does the rest of the weekend have in store for us? Well, it's going to start with a widespread freeze across southeast Wisconsin. Freeze warning in effect area wide through 9 a.m. on Saturday as temperatures fall into the upper 20s to low 30s. It's going to warm back up into the low 50s Saturday afternoon with sunny to partly cloudy skies, but we'll still have a wind at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. Ah, we made it. Feels good, doesn't it? Happy Friday to you. I'm Jessa Breisbeck, and this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Today started with a pretty big chill outside. So, Sam, what does the rest of the weekend look for? It's going to start with a widespread freeze across southeastern Wisconsin. Freeze warning in effect for the entire area. Temperatures dropping into the upper 20s to low 30s. By the time we get towards Saturday morning, temperatures rise back into the low 50s by Saturday afternoon. More sunshine the farther south you go, but still dealing with that blustery wind gusting to 25. I meant look like, not look for, but you got what I meant, Sam. Thank you. Well, week two of the Daryl Brooks trial now in the books. The prosecution expects to wrap its case by Tuesday. Our Gabriella Becerra has been following all the developments since day one. Well, Joseph, as the second week of the Waukesha Christmas Parade trial comes to a close, we've seen and heard a lot of testimony about what happened after a red SUV drove through the Waukesha Christmas Parade. A Waukesha officer who found the car in a driveway says it's registered to Don Woods, and we know that to be Daryl Brooks's mother. He said there were also documents in the car with Daryl Brooks's name on it. Now, the state says the jury will have an opportunity to see the SUV as they wrap their case, which they're now predicting to do on Tuesday. For now, back to you. Gabby, thank you. A new key development in a story that we've been following for you for two months now. Back in August, 77-year-old Richard DeJardin fell to his death when the Kilbourne Avenue Bridge went up while he was trying to cross it. Uh, today, the Milwaukee County District Attorney announcing they have not found evidence of any criminal wrongdoing. No charges will be filed. Well, a big night in Wisconsin as far as the governor's race goes, the one and only debate between incumbent Tony Evers and challenger Tim Michaels. Our Emily Fannin has a preview for you. Hey, Jessup, tonight will be the only opportunity for voters to see Tony Evers and Tim Michaels duel it out on a debate stage as each campaign only agreed to one debate. So this is essentially it. Now, Evers and Michaels are essentially tied in statewide polling. For Michaels, we can expect him to talk about crime, inflation, COVID to the unrest in Kenosha and touting himself as a businessman. Meanwhile, Evers will be talking about how he's been a goalie, essentially, and blocking several aspects of Republicans agenda with his veto pen from overhauling elections and schools. For now, back to you, Jessup. Emily, thank you. Of course, full coverage of the debate tonight at 9 and 10 and online at CBS58.com. The Near West Side partners teaming up with Milwaukee police to hopefully give residents in one Milwaukee neighborhood some peace of mind and keep them safer. Now, here's the deal. People in the neighborhood can get a free ring doorbell if they give police permission to use the footage if it can help with an investigation. Hey, attention, Wind Point and Menominee Falls, get ready for us. You are our next stops on our 58 Hometowns Tours. Wind Point on Tuesday, Menominee Falls on Thursday. And coming up tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10, how one local brewery is helping support domestic violence prevention. Plus, a popular boxing gym gets a big time makeover. We will see you tonight for those stories and much more. But for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We hope you have a great and safe weekend.